I bought a video camera to capture my bow hunts, and we've been fortunate enough to have a little bit of success. What I didn't realize was how bad of a gun hunter I was. This was the year we were gonna buck the trend, and there was no better deer to break the curse with than E.T. I had a lot of history with this buck. I had stuck him on the opening night of bow season, and he basically laughed in my face and proceeded to taunt me the rest of the fall. With zero muzzleloader kills under my belt, I was ready to break the slump. And the only way to get out of a slump is to keep hunting. The first half of the season absolutely stunk. We hunted our butts off and barely saw a deer older than two and a half years old. Well, it's New Year's Eve. The muzzle season started off a little slow again. We've had a lot of south winds and 40 degree days. We've had five south winds in a row and today it's northwest and it's supposed to cool down here in the coming days. So we're sneaking into the stand we think we can kill ET in. After the first of the year, it was like a light switch turned on. We started seeing a lot of the deer getting grouped up and they started moving an hour, two hours before light ended. With all the movement, random bucks that I wasn't familiar with started to show up. This dark horned eight pointer and broken rack 10 pointer came out every single night together, but they just weren't mature enough to shoot. On January 5th, we finally saw both shooters. First, the Big Ten came out, and then right at last light, E.T. walked across the top of our farm. With a bad wind, we weren't able to make a play on either of them. Defeated and licking our wounds, we went out on the last night of the year to fill doe tags. And typical for hunting, when you least expect something to happen, it happens. And this was the night a shooter finally made a mistake. Did I drop him? I heard the thud. I heard the thud. <laughs> it's amazing how fast things can change when you're hunting. One second I'm wondering how I can hunt so hard and only shoot a doe, and the next I kill my first buck ever with a muzzleloader. Last day of the season, <laughs> freezing our butts off. <laughs> this randomness is what makes hunting hunting, and this randomness is what has me hooked.